Hi, good morning everyone. Welcome to this topic of finding and replacing text in a file. So let's get started. Let's open a file. So let's open this particular file that is testing.txt and you can see this file has some content in it. Now what I want to show you guys is how to search for a text and how to replace a text. Okay, so to search for the text, what you do is you press slash. The moment you press slash, look at the bottom here. Okay, so you can see that this is where this is your slash and you can start typing like, let's say I want to search a word called Belgium. Okay, so if I just press enter, you can see that it has shown you this word Belgium. So how do we do that slash and the word name that you are searching? Okay, and if I want to find out the next occurrence of this word, what I will do is I will press N. Just simple small N and you can see that it will take you to the next occurrence of the word. Okay, so this is a way to search a word. Okay, now, next thing what we will see is to replace a word. Okay, so let's search a word and replace it. So there are multiple ways we, we can do. We can type something like colon 1 that is starting from the first line comma dollar that is from the first line to the last line space s is search for this word let's say belgium and replace it by let's say netherland and so this will search Belgium and replace it by Netherlands but this will replace just one occurrence in a line but if your line has multiple such occurrences so you just type slash g that is globally so take note of how this command is formed let's analyze this command okay so what we are going to do is we will see the details of this command but if I press enter after this you can see that the Belgium is replaced with Netherlands okay so this is a read-only file so let's open okay so now let's search it again colon then one comma dollar that is starting from the first line to the last line search s slash the word that you want to search and after that the word that you want to replace it with okay and all occurrences of this word in a line is slash g okay so here you can see that the occurrence is not found because i spelled belgium as b l e g i u m okay so you can see that how we can change the words, how we can replace the words. So let's analyze this command again. Okay, so let's look at the analysis of this command. Okay, so colon one comma dollar that is starting from the first line to the last line space s means search the word that you want to search so this is like we find this thing slash replace with some word let's say Netherlands so find and then replace with this word slash g means globally 
Okay, so this is one way of replacing it. That is starting with the word colon. One that is starting from the first line to the last line. S stand for search. Okay. Search this word and replace it by this word globally. Okay, same thing we can do it in a different manner also. Okay, now let's see the different way of doing this. So, percent %s. Okay, then, so what we are searching? This word, let's say I want to search this word, which is, say, Netherlands. Okay, so I am searching this word Netherland and I want to replace with this with say Hong Kong. Okay, and slash G means globally. Okay, I'll press enter. And you can see that the Netherland is replaced with Hong Kong and all the occurrences of Netherland is replaced. And if you just type Netherland here, you will not find that word. Okay, so this is how we do a find and replace of the word. So the command looks something like this. It is extremely important command. Just take note of this. So this is colon percent s. Okay, so this is for, we are searching for what? This word, let's say, Netherlands. And so this, we are finding this and replacing with Hong Kong. So replace by this word. Slash G means globally. If you take note of this command and this command, the output, the end result is same for both the commands. Okay, so this is how we do search and replace, that is find and replace in a VI file. So that is what I wanted to cover in this particular topic. Thank you for joining me and have a nice day. Bye-bye.